Hey guys, welcome back. I want to show you a new model that I got off eBay recently. Uh, just got it in yesterday. Um, depending on when you see this video. <laughs> yesterday may be a different day, but anyway. Just got this in. Uh, it was shot in the dark. I came across it. The, the, uh, the uh, auction was ending in literally like two minutes. I didn't have any time to do any research to see what it is, to see when it was made. I just saw it was metal. I, to be honest, I could really care less about a Duesenberg. I like to watch Jay Leno's Garage, and he has a lot of them. They're interesting cars. Um, I'm just not interested in Duesenberg. But I saw this, and I thought, well, it's, it wasn't going for much. I don't even remember what I gave for it. Literally, probably like 20, 25 bucks. I'll have to look it up, but regardless, I thought, you know, it looks cool. Haven't seen one. So I got it, and the box is beat up. It looks like it's, it's been under a child's bed for year ages. But <clears throat> first thing I noticed when I got it was the date. And the date is 1978. And I could not see, well, like I didn't have time to research it, but I didn't couldn't see the, the uh, model number of it to go on Scalemates which is a great website to tell anything about your, the history of your model. I didn't have time to do any of that, but it was, it was cool. It's 1978, and I'm like, wow, this is, this is neat. Now, uh, it's obviously been open. Look how long that thing is. It's, going, it's huge, but I've never built, it's also 124 scale, so it's gonna give it a little more size. Um, I've never built anything metal um, so it says uh, obviously die cast metal and plastic, but I'm going to open it and sounds like a, a rector set or something. So open it up and show you what's in. I'm going to build this model. I'm, I'm going to build this one. I'm working currently. I'm working on the 69 Shelby Mustang. Just got some paint on it, but I wanted to do an unboxing of this so you could see it. And I am going to build this. So I think next model, it will be this one. So, the gigantic instructions, and the kit's been opened, it's been looked through many, many times, I suppose, but it, it's, I, I looked at all the pieces, they, they, for, for what I could see, the important pieces were, were all here, and so what's cool about it is the metal body, check it out, metal body, you talk about flash. I don't. I mean, this is like metal flash. So I'll have to uh, do some sanding and some trimming the the where the exhaust go. The holes here are are covered a little bit. But look at that. It's metal. How cool. There's at least the fenders and the the chassis, I suppose. And you've got the body. Diecast metal has a little hatch I don't know what that's for I don't think it's a rumble seat but anyway it's a little hatch that goes back here and that's there and in the background noise I apologize I didn't turn off my air conditioning it's hot uh, it's beginning to get hot I live in South Georgia and it's getting pretty warm it's very very humid so I had to have it on I hear my shop it's brutal here's the tires and to be as old as it is, they're rubber tires and they're they're somewhat pliable. But one one of the white walls is inserted already. But check it out. Look at that white wall. So all four tires are here. There's the hood. The hood is a two-piece hood. I guess it's going to somehow hinge. I don't know. But it looks like it's going to somehow maybe hinge or something to open up to the side so you can see the engine. Uh, we'll see. Don't know. But as I was looking through these, the plastic parts are super nice and detailed. For instance, I don't know if you can see this. My lighting is not so great. I'm sorry. There is wood grain on this uh, portion. I'm not even sure if this is a floorboard what this is but the bolts or rivets all the way around the the roof is textured here are some it looks like bumpers but it's not bumpers maybe it's what the bumpers mount to I don't know 
small parts, but it's really, really, what I'm noticing about the plastic on this, and I've criticized old kits before, is they have a lot of flash. Well, not on this one. It, as far as I've seen, not a lot of flash. Very, very detailed parts. Here's the, the engine, half of that Duesenberg. These Duesenbergs, at least the information I get from Jay Leno, and I think he probably knows what he's talking about, and they were super fast for the day. The little parts are really detailed. Now look at this. You've got a huge inline six or eight or something like that, and then you've got this little fan, little small fan. There's the, the uh, driver's compartment. Again, I, I apologize about the lighting. It looks, it's, I, I've got my camera up a little higher because the box is bigger, so I get away from the light. But the seat, seats look great. The axle, some kind of, I don't know what this is in the car, how that worked, but there are some really intricate, detailed parts throughout. And many parts are off the trees. Here's the chrome. But you you wouldn't think at all that that was old chrome. It looks it looks great for model chrome. So the chrome tree is all intact. There's two chrome trees. There's the second one. The grill, instrument panel, those side pieces of the uh, uh, side portions of the the, the uh, hood. Exhaust vents, and here's another tree. Just together, okay. So I guess this is the chassis. Actually, good grief! It's as long as a tractor trailer or a tractor. If you buy a semi truck, it's it's literally that long. It's got the leaf springs, nicely detailed. Look at the exhaust. I guess header. What you would say coming out. Uh, it looks like the exhaust manifold here. Other parts, the radiator. Wow, and if, I wish you could see this, how finely detailed the radiator. Um, I'm sorry, you can't see. I, I could see, but you couldn't see. But how fine the radiator. Little holes are so small. That's amazing. And a few other parts. Here's the glass. It's all here. So the little tiny windshield, huge headlights, and um, I guess this is the back glass. And the other half of the Duesenberg and transmission, it's off the tree. Uh, firewall, here is, well, I have no idea what that is. Valve cover, I thought when I opened the kit I was looking for, you know, obvious parts, could not find the valve cover. But it was hiding on the box. I couldn't see it because the box was somewhat bent over. There's the overhead cam valve cover. There. And I think these engines are what, green? Some kind of die cast. Oh, I think these are for the spare tire, possibly. They're die cast metal. The other white walls. Uh, looks like maybe, oops, maybe a brake, brake mask. The booster possibly for the master cylinder and something else I have no idea maybe f these weren't were they carbureted or fuel injected I'm not sure but that almost looks like it would be fuel injection but who knows maybe an intake but anyway I, I can't wait to build I don't know how I'm supposed to prepare this metal for paint I guess the same way primer and then you know primer and then a uh, paint not not a hundred percent sure, but it's heavy. It, it, it's it's uh, I don't know whose idea it was to make half metal, half plastic model cars, but I guess monograms. It's going to be fun. So I'll build this one next after I complete the Mustang. Um, and so maybe you'll come back and check this out, and we'll see how it goes. I hope that all the parts are here. I'll do another part inventory again but I, I, I believe they're all here and this is going to be pretty fun so guys here's the instructions I did not open it completely up but not really any need to I'll do it when we build so just the big instructions instructions uh, sheet and 
so it's, it's pretty neat. I hope all the parts are here. So yeah, yeah. Okay, I was asking a while ago. Wonder what those parts were. There's a bumper that's body color or black, possibly, that the actual chrome bumper will sit on. So that answers that question. Anyways, guys, thanks for uh, watching. Again, if you would please like, share, subscribe, and keep your eye out. And within the next uh, week or so, possibly I'll try to get started on this, and I'm gonna build a a 19. I don't even know what year Duesenberg. Let's see. What year car is it? I just, I don't even know what year Duesenberg it is because I don't, I'm not a Duesenberg guy. But anyway, it was produced in, this model at least was produced in 1978. So I'm going to build it and we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully it'll look some, something like that. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Thanks a lot.